Happy Tuesday, friends. My name is Tila, and today we're going to talk about how to install and use custom fonts in Procreate. So there are really three main ways to install and use custom fonts on an iPad and within Procreate. The first way would be installing the font file directly. So if you have access to an OTF file, you can see right here that I've emailed myself an OTF file. So it's just an attachment in an email in the Gmail app. So if I just tap on that OTF file and then hit the export icon in the upper right, you can see I've got Procreate as an option because Procreate's already open on my iPad. And if I tap on it, it's automatically installed. In order to use it, just just hit the wrench in the add category, choose add text. Now if I hit the little double A icon in the bottom of my screen and then scroll to find the font that I just installed, which is called Tuesday Script, I can now adjust the size. If I scribble through it, I can write out whatever word I want the font set in. So in this case, I'm just writing out Tuesday. It takes on Tuesday and that's it. So that's how to install just a regular OTF file. The second method would be downloading a font file that comes as a zip and then using an unzipping app to access the font file to then install it. So we are heading into my free resource library. Everything in this library is 100% free when you become a free every Tuesday email subscriber. I've got Procreate brushes and color palettes and there's also this font called Corner Bakery. If I tap on it and then tap the download icon, I'm using the Chrome browser so it appears at the bottom of my screen. So then I can hit the download link, hit open in, and you can see that this is a zip file now. So Procreate doesn't show up in my results automatically because it's a zip. So I'm going to use this unzipping app. There are a whole bunch of different unzipping apps, but this is the one that I use, and I'll leave a link in the video description to this. After I enter the unzipping app, you can see that Corner Bakery zip file is appearing now within the app. So I'm going to tap on that file. If you get this extract alert like I did, just hit ignore all. So after that, it'll appear in a folder. So now this has unzipped it, so you can access the contents, tap on the folder, tap on the folder again, and these are the contents of that zip file. So you can see I've got the OTF file, there's also a TTF file, and there's an RTF file. The RTF file just has information about the font. The TTF file is for software that doesn't support OTF files, but OTF is the latest and greatest type of font file, so that's the one that you want to install. So in order to install this, instead of tapping on it again, we actually have to hit that little eye icon on the very right side of the screen. And after you hit that eye icon, you can see we have the option to open in. Tap on that and then Procreate will appear. When we hit Procreate, it automatically installs it into Procreate. So once again, we're going to set some typable text. I'm just going to write out Corner Bakery. This is still the Tuesday script font. In order to change this to the Corner Bakery font, we first need to select all of our text. So double tap on the text, hit the double A icon, and now we can scroll through our font list until we find Corner Bakery. Tap on Corner Bakery, and now we have set that text in the Corner Bakery font that we just downloaded, unzipped, and installed. And then you can adjust its appearance however you would like. So this next method is how to unzip a zip file without using an unzipping app for a font with multiple styles. So I have once again emailed myself the font file. So you can see right here, I've got another font of mine called Skinny Jeans. So once again, it's a zip file. So we're going to tap on that zip file, which is an attachment and then hit the little export icon in the upper right. And this time we're going to tap on save to files. And when you do that, mine defaults to the Procreate folder. It's underneath the on my iPad category. So if you don't get to that right away, just hit on my iPad and you can find the Procreate folder and then hit save. Now we need to enter our files. So hit the little file icon and over on the left, you can see on my iPad and then I can see I've got that Procreate folder. So I'm going to tap on it, locate the zip file for skinny jeans, which is right here. And in order to unzip it, you're just going to tap and hold and wait until you get this dialog. And then you can see uncompress is at the very bottom, so tap on that. Once you hit uncompress, you'll notice a folder appear that has the same name as the zip file. I can just tap on that folder to open it, and these are the contents of that zip file. So. All of my font files are under the skinny jeans folder and you can see these are the different styles of the font. I have a caps style, a script style, and then a symbol style. So we have three different styles of the same font. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let's install the caps one by tapping on it. We can head back into our files, tap on script, that one's installed, 
head back into files, tap on the symbols font, and now that one's installed. So it's really quick once you can get to the OTF file. Let's add text once again. I'm just going to move it down, and let's write out skinny jeans. Okay, this is still set in the corner bakery font, so we need to change it to the skinny jeans font. So I'm going to hit the double A. I have to double tap on my text again, so all of it's selected, and then I can scroll through my font list and locate skinny jeans. I can see it right there. I'm going to tap on it, and you can see under the style column, I've got caps, script, and the symbols. So right now it's set in the cap style and I can increase the size, I can switch to the script, and then the symbols just has a bunch of doodles in it. So let's reformat this a little bit so we can see it a bit bigger. I'm going to switch back to the script style, increase the size, and then deselect. And just like that, we have three new fonts added into Procreate with three different styles of the Skinny Jeans font. So that's how to install and use custom fonts in Procreate. Once again, links to everything mentioned in this video are right in the video description. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next week.